Hi, my name is Greg DeRosian. I'm President and CEO of the Cambridge Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here to provide training on the Ontario Chamber Network's COVID-19 Rapid Screening Initiative. The Chamber of Commerce program is to identify asymptomatic cases of COVID-19 only in the workplace. If we're going to stop the spread and keep our workplaces safe, we need to know exactly where it is. Do not use these kits to validate COVID in people who have symptoms. They are not designed for that. Those who have symptoms, even the slightest, must arrange for a PCR diagnostic test with their local public health unit immediately. Rapid antigen testing is for screening and does not replace all of the things you are doing now. Wearing a mask, physical distancing, washing hands, and verbal screening are all still required under public health regulations. This is not the silver bullet. Rapid screening is not a replacement for vaccination. These kits do not prevent infection, reduce symptoms, or make you safe. They only help to keep your workplace safe. These kits are not to be used to build a case to gather either. Please follow public health rules and make sure your employees do as well. We're so close. Let's not fall back again now that we have this new tool. The provincial and federal governments have made these available for small and medium sized businesses for free, but you must report your screens and we make it easy to do it on a simple online form. We cannot refill your order unless 75% of the kits you have already gotten are reported. So if you screen an employee presumptive positive, they must leave the workplace immediately, self-isolate and book a PCR test at an assessment center within 24 hours. These employees must not re-enter the workplace or any other public setting until they have a negative PCR test result from their local public health unit. Okay. This process for self-swabbing is extremely easy and I'm going to show it to you very shortly. But government regulations say they must watch this video if you're going to send individual tests home for employees to screen before coming into the workplace. They must watch the video as well. There are two quality control swabs, one that will show a positive result, one that will show a negative result. Important, do not use these to swab someone's nose. They are not to be used. They are only for quality control. If you feel the kits aren't working, use them to validate the test pads. But you don't need to swab any noses to do that. While the positive control swab does have the protein on it from COVID-19, it is not infectious, nor will it infect anyone with the virus. Most times, please just ignore these unless you're having problems with the kits. The buffering agent is a huge problem for some. For some reason, there are people that throw it out by accident, misplace it, use way too much, and then have wasted kits. Believe me, the tiny bottle you get with 25 kits in the pan bio is plenty to do 25 screens. Don't spill it. Don't let untrained people use it. Don't overfill. Don't lose it. There's not a supply of the buffering agent. You get what you get. Please use it responsibly. The uh, Veritol comes preloaded, which is much easier, so you don't have to worry about losing it. So let's go and do the test. Here are the instructions to do the Veritor rapid antigen test. This is a very simple procedure. The vial comes preloaded in your kits, and you get 30 kits rather than 25 kits as the pan bio ones. However, uh, they're all preloaded and ready to go. All you need to do is have your employee remove the swab. They take the swab in the same fashion as the other kits. You just swab about two centimeters up, which is about an inch into the nostril, and keep it in there for about five seconds in each nostril, making sure that you swirl it around all areas of the nostril. Again, five to seven seconds in each nostril, making sure you're swirling it around and spinning the swab at the same time. Again, this is non-invasive. It tickles a little bit sometimes the first time you do it, but it's really uh, no pain at all. You then take the vial and you've removed the yellow cap off the top. And then what you do is you take the swab and you actually plunge it down inside uh, four or five times, making sure that you're uh, swishing it around while it's in there, pressing it up against the edges to make sure you can get as much of the elements off of the swab and into the solution as you possibly can. 
Once you're done, you take the swab out. And then the attached uh, lid, push down very hard till you hear a little click. And now your vial is ready for testing. You remove the test pad. This one is a little bit different than uh, the Pan Bio where it uh, doesn't require as many drops, but it looks virtually the same. You've got the area here where the solution will go in, and then you've got the area here where the results will come out. You take the vial, the, the dropper is already uh, connected on the end. You put three drops, two, three, into the test side, and you wait 15 minutes or 10 minutes and you'll have your result. Well, that was a quick 10 or 15 minutes. Here's the results from the Veritor that I just did, test, rapid antigen test, same as the PanBio, but this is a different brand. You will see that there is a red line under the C, that means I'm negative. If there was a red line under the T as well as under the C, that would mean I'm positive. I must leave the workplace and go and get a PCR test as soon as I possibly can. If there is a red line only under the T, that's inconclusive. We recommend waiting 10 or 15 minutes. Redo the test again. If you get another inconclusive, that could be a suspected positive case. Please send the person to public health for a PCR test. It's very simple, folks. Uh, very easy to do and non-invasive. The Veritor tests are really easy if you need to send them home for an individual who uh, you would like to screen prior to them coming in. You simply take the uh, test pad, you put it in the bag, you put the swab in the bag for the employee, and then you put the preloaded vial, already sealed and ready to go, in their baggie as well, and you can send that home with them. They can test before they come into work, everybody can feel safe. Once you've confirmed that you have watched this, you'll be able to pick up your initial order of kits. Please use them wisely and only for your employees. You may not use them for friends, family. They are intended to keep the workplace safe. There are other opportunities of pharmacies where people can get screened if they want to. And one last reminder, they are only for asymptomatic employee, uh, employees who actually go into the workplace on a regular basis. They are not intended for employees who are working predominantly from home. Please order your refills a couple of days before you run out. This gives distribution uh, centers the opportunity to ensure supply, to ensure capacity limits in the facility you're picking them up on uh, are, are safe and, uh, and will more effectively be able to serve you. Go to chambercheck for updates, FAQs, and other information related to the screening process, including reporting your results. Please be patient with us. It gets extremely busy and at times hard to keep up. Following these simple rules is easy and enables us to keep helping you and your business stay safe, stay open, and keep others safe as well. Good luck and happy screening. Once again, thank you for stepping forward to keep your workplace a safe workplace.